हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ फिक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी हाउ टू यूज एम डी एन स्टैक ओवर फ्लो एंड गूगल टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ओके सो वाई वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस एम डी एम एंड स्टॉक ओवर फ्लो वट आर दिस वेबसाइट वदर दैन स्टैक ओवर फ्लो एंड एम डी एम वी हैव कोरा टू फाइंड एंसर्स टू अवर क्वेश्चंस so how to do that how to find uh, the answer for the questions in javascript or in any other programming language how to use how to use this uh, platforms properly so that we are going to see in this video so stay tuned and let's uh, continue so first of all let me uh, introduce you to this uh, what is uh, mdn and what is this tag overflow so mdn for javascript is basically a official uh, documentation for mdn like for javascript okay so you can see if you go to mdn web docs so you can find one javascript related content is there so javascript uh javascript's whole documentation is there so if you want to search for any minute details of javascript you can just go on google and search for the topic so let's say uh, i want to search for topics uh, let's say uh, objects in javascript and i can just simply type out mdn in front of that and you can see it will redirect me it will give me the link for object and it will open in my mdn docs so you can see the whole detail of object is here like what are objects what well, like its description what are these object prototype properties like all the properties of this object okay so this is a very uh, simple explanation how to use this mdn and if you want to search for anything inside mdn here is a search button of course okay you can change the theme theme from here to light or maybe to dark okay so the next thing is uh, what is this stack overflow okay so if you go on google search for stack overflow it will redirect you it will show you the first website on your uh, search engine that is stackoverflow.com so what is this stack overflow stack so stack overflow is basically a community where uh, where on you can post all your doubts okay and uh, and the, the developers in the other parts of country or in any other remote location they can uh, like they can write their uh, solutions if they have the solutions for it okay so it is basically uh, like like we can say it is a facebook but facebook for solving the doubts okay so let's say uh, uh okay let me open this in my particular tab so i'm just simply going back to over this stack overflow right just go on to the very first site and yes on stack overflow you can see so that's the very uh, home page of this stack overflow and here are the top questions that are asked today so draw thin square border svg image so you can ask questions related to anything so it might be technology non technology so uh, but specifically we are going going to use this for javascript thing okay so you can ask it any questions and if there is any particular solution for that particular questions then it will it will show you so let's say let's try to uh, ask uh, him something so how to and all numbers numbers in uh, array let's say using javascript right i am just searching for it see it will give me 186 results it is giving me 186 result okay and depending on the number of upwards it will give me the solutions so Uh, what are these upwards so we can give upward to uh, to any a uh, solution which is present over here and we can also write our solution as well so that's not the issue okay so if you, if i go to first solution you can see over here like how can i loop okay so it is basically the question is how can i loop through all uh, entries in an array using javascript okay so by looping over all the array we can actually traverse each and every element and if if you want to oh, add that particular element we can actually store the sum in any variable for that like that so that's the very simple a uh, solution but here let's see what is uh, there so your base birds we can use for of loop okay so that is the very first uh, use and this is possible uh, in es5 right so after the addition of es5 in 2015 so this 
particular looping is possible like const element of the array and we can traverse each and uh, every element okay so we can see here also we can use this for each loop and and you can see here uh, someone has given the link of the mdn docs if i open this mdn docs you can see the array dot prototype for each method is given okay so what is this for each method if you want to know about this for each method and any anything which is present on stack overflow just simply go on to google type that particular thing and after that just add mdn okay so it will give you a link for the mdn uh, official uh, docs for that particular thing right so it's a sim very simple way you can see some people has put on something like a simple old fashion is simply use for loop this is a very practical thing so okay so lot of uh, a lot of you guys who are beginner in javascript they will uh, use this particular method simple for loop okay and rarely rarely someone is going to use this for in loop okay so basically this for in loop uh, uh, works on object uh, if you want to traverse object so definitely we are going to use this for in loop okay and there are some do don't use don't use and do's or don't okay so some people have added the solutions in a very uh, proper manner okay so that's the thing okay so for some for some questions you will find out the answers in a very proper way okay and how to use google for finding out the answers to the questions you have okay so let's say uh, there is some question like uh, how how to reverse uh, a string let's say in javascript i am asking this question to google okay so it will give me the link to free code cam geeks for geeks so you should also know how to use google for finding out your answer so there are very uh, proper websites for uh, which will give you the very proper answer so one of my favorite website is gfg that is geeks for geeks so it it will give you uh, the answer for any questions in, in a very uh, proper manner and it is explained very well over gfg websites see uh, you can see that here they are taking uh, geeks for geeks uh, as a string input and it is giving uh, them output of this uh, string in a reverse manner okay so they they have given their methods as well here and in a very uh, proper format it is very uh, properly documented over here okay so if you want to search for any concept related thing then go on to mdm i will suggest to go on to mdm okay so your first step should be mdn the second is stack overflow and if you are not uh, able to find that thing on stack overflow then then go on to google and just search for it uh, you will get definitely more than more than 100 results okay so that's the thing so you can see here uh, it is giving it is showing me the uh, method one what is it it is saying me that check the input string if it is empty or just one character then we don't need to reverse it or you can just simply uh, type that it is not a valid string because uh, if if a string is having only one character then it is not a string it is we can <laughs> simply consider it as an alphabet right so the second myth uh, second in line in first method is about condition is false create an array okay so we need to create an array and we need to store that string's character in that particular array and after that we need to reverse that particular array okay so that is the that is the very simple method so here is the first condition they are uh, assuming uh, after that here is one empty array they are taking and they are traversing over the array and they are storing the values in the array from back to front from last to first in this way we are simply reversing the array and they are just, and they are just using this join method to join the array okay so that's the thing so here is second method so you can see on geeks for gigs there are very uh, proper methods and proper um, methods for one solution okay so we, one solution can be solved by many uh, other ways so yes gfg i will suggest guys you to follow this uh, site okay so i think that that is what i wanted you guys to know like how to use this google stack overflow mdn okay so yes you can use these uh, things in this particular way and i hope i am done with the video i will see you guys in the next video if you haven't check out our web development series playlist it is already live on our devtown channel just go on to playlist and just bookmark it on your uh, browser so that you can find out that web development playlist whenever you turn on your browser and with that i am ending this video thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video until then goodbye